Hello dear traders, I'm Anna Kasatkina. You're watching the latest weekly review of Forex and Stock Markets. The US stock market squeezed on Friday as long-term Treasury yields rose to two-year highs. The securities also dropped amid the worries about positive scaling back of the stimulus program and discouraging corporate earnings reports. The Dow Jones Industrial lost 0.2 percent to 15,081.47 points. Meanwhile, the S&P 500 Broad Index slashed 0.3 percent to close at 1,655.83. Nasdaq Composite in its turn deteriorated by 0.1 percent to 3,602.78. At the end of the week, the Dow contracted by 2.2 percent, demonstrating the most noticeable fall since the start of 2013. The S&P 500 edged down 2.1 percent. The High Technology Index lost 1.6 percent. However, the decline was not so significant owing to the Apple's shares growth by 10.5 percent. It should be mentioned that 10-year bonds yields returned to growth on Friday, having added five basis points to 2.83 percent. Apart from this, the U.S. Labor Department highlighted that the productivity of the labor force in non-farm sector upbeat the forecast. The indicator increased by 0.9 percent year-over-year in the second quarter. On the contrary, the preliminary consumer sentiment index from Michigan plummeted to 80 points in August from 85.1 in July. Besides, jobless claims released on Thursday turned to be better than expected figures, sparkling new speculations that the Fed can trim its stimulus program in September. Carl Icahn's tweet on Friday spurred a rise in prices of Apple shares. The stocks ended above $500 level, the highest since October of 2011, after the American investor supported Apple, saying that he has a large position in it and thinks the company is extremely undervalued. The quotes ticked up by 0.9 percent and ended at the level of $502.33. For the week, the Apple shares went up by 10.5 percent. It is worth of mentioning that the stock slid by 1.8 percent last week. Besides, the housing corporation's shares put in a stellar performance last week. Poulter Group Incorporated stocks surged by 2.3 percent in the Friday session or 3.9 percent on the week. Meanwhile, Lena Corporation shares leaped 1.8 percent, gaining 2.9 percent at the end of the week. Meanwhile, the D.R. Horton Incorporated shares were 0.6 percent lower, but gained 0.6 percent for the week. Such growth was triggered by favorable economic data on the new housing starts. Thus, on an adjusted basis, the indicator advanced by 5.9 percent to 896,000 units. This was the latest review of Forex and Stock Markets from InstaForex. Thank you and see you next week. Bye.